What's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to share why freelancers should never, ever, ever use PayPal. You should stop using PayPal if you're using PayPal for Upwork or even for your regular freelance services. That's what we're going to talk about this video, uh, why you should stop using PayPal immediately if you're using them. If that's something you want to see, stick around. Hey minions, if you're new to the channel and you like what I have to say, then be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. Only do this if you like what I have to say and if you want to hear more about freelancing, entrepreneurship, and personal world domination. For those who don't know me, I'm Lex DeBill, and on this channel, we help you escape corporate prison and build a freelance empire. We share lots of tips and tutorials and things like that, so if you're new, consider subscribing. PayPal. We're talking about PayPal today. Uh, I'll throw my latest video up on the screen if you're interested in seeing something like that. I forget what it was all about, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, it was pretty good. Oh, I think it was about Upwork's availability. We can talk more about stuff, you know, regarding that. But PayPal. Never use PayPal. Freelancers need to quit using PayPal immediately. And this kind of is probably going to sound a little bit like a rant in some ways. I guess it is. Um, I don't think that you should quit using PayPal just because I quit. But I did quit. And I want to share a little bit about my recent experiences with PayPal. So I have been a... PayPal customer for the last almost 20 years. So nearly 20 years of using PayPal, of sending funds back and forth, of uh, giving, paying them fees for different services and uh, all of that stuff, all of the things that comes with using PayPal. And I build clients through PayPal, I invoice through PayPal, use them numerous times. Just within the past year and a half or so, maybe even just the past six months, we have started to have enormous problems with PayPal. And those problems included uh, PayPal putting freezing my account at a moment's notice without warning, not letting me have access to the funds in that account, just holding my funds with the intent to take those funds because that's what PayPal does. They have a history of taking money from people and not giving it back. And there's no regulation surrounding PayPal as far as I'm as far as I understand. You don't have the same protections as like you might have with a bank. If you have any protections with a bank, I don't really know. But what I do know is that numerous people have had their accounts frozen uh, without warning for sometimes violations of PayPal's policies and other times for not violations of any uh, kind and PayPal just doesn't respond. They just freeze the account, take the money, maybe even ban you in some instances. And I know of some people who this has happened to that had thriving businesses running and operating through PayPal and PayPal just froze their accounts, took their money, all of the money that was in there, and just kept it for themselves. Uh, that's what happened to me almost. My account was frozen. Uh, I had to go through a plethora of different initiatives to to verify to PayPal what this transaction was and this one and this one and this one. And these were all legitimate, normal transactions. They were all uh, clients being billed, clients who had previously paid me. And I had to go through and explain what was done. I had to send proof that I had delivered services, even though the client was happy, the client didn't open any disputes or anything. There was nothing, there was nothing going on in my account. PayPal just said, oh, you know what? We, th we think that you need to be put on hold because you're billing whatever amounts. So they made me do all these verifications. I did the verifications. Their system wouldn't let me submit because their system regularly, regularly breaks. PayPal's system is broke. Their shit does not work most of the time. And I can even put examples of that up on the screen. Maybe if I can, if I can dig through my files and find them, I'll put them on the screen showing that I was trying to submit stuff, submit documentation. Their system wouldn't let me. And eventually I got some of it submitted. They came back, said, we need more information. So I submitted that. They wanted more information. Eventually I got on a phone call with them. They wanted more information. I, it was back and forth. And I just had to keep sending them stuff and sending them and sending them. IDs, social security numbers, proof of service deliveries, invoices, all of these different things that just don't really make sense for PayPal to even be asking me for in the first place. So more recently, uh, there was a discussion over on the Fastlane forum about PayPal, uh, I guess maybe closing accounts, banning accounts for password issues on first time notice without without giving these people notice at all. And there was a discussion that came up about it. And so I joined that discussion. I started saying like, 
you know, I've had to deal with some issues with PayPal in the past. You should not keep your money in PayPal. It puts it at great risk. And if you put your money in PayPal, they may take it from you one day and they're not going to give it back. And bear in mind, I'm from the United States. I'm from the country where you would think would be the least likely to have issues with PayPal, but they have put account holds on me. So the most recently I joined in that uh, conversation that was just yesterday, I think. And no sooner had I posted about my recent negative experiences, uh, I get this dispute notice right in my email. And so I open this dispute notice. It says the client's disputed, uh, it's the client has disputed a transaction or something like that. I was trying to read through it and come to find out the client did not dispute transaction. So I have a client that I'm working with. I'm writing Amazon descriptions for this client. I sent him an invoice. He paid the invoice. Uh, the money came through PayPal. I sent the money to my bank account. That's what happened. 150 bucks. Easy breezy. And this is not our first transaction together. It's our, our second transaction. So we've already had one that's completed just fine. And I delivered the services totally fine. This one, something happened. And something happened from the, the client side where their bank said, Eh, something isn't right about this. I don't know. They just, they didn't like the transaction for whatever reason. I don't know why, but they either stopped payment or put a hold on. I don't know what they did with the payment. All I know is that this caused PayPal to open a dispute for our transaction. So now PayPal says that the clients opened a dispute, but is, or they said that the client's bank had denied the transaction. I don't remember exactly what they said. All I know is there was a dispute and I had an opportunity to respond to it. So before I responded to anything, I messaged the client by email. I asked him if this was something for real. If he, I mean, if it is, I would give him a refund. It's no problem. I hadn't finished the copywriting yet. Uh, the client said it's not, it was an accident. He doesn't know what happened. And so he's checking into it from his end. So we know that the client doesn't have a problem and I don't have a problem. I've already been paid. The client has already taken care of his stuff. It's just PayPal that has a problem now. And I guess presumably because the client's payment didn't come through to PayPal. So PayPal didn't get their money, but they put in my account that there was money there. And I took that money and I moved it out of the PayPal to my bank account. I don't see how it's my problem if they didn't like if they allowed me to move money that wasn't in PayPal, they allowed that I only had the amount of money in PayPal that the client had sent to me. So they put it in there. They showed it on the screen. They let me take that out when it wasn't available in their system yet, when it hadn't finished processing on their end. This is a PayPal problem. This is not a Lex DeVille problem. I did nothing wrong. And yet disputes open, my account's on hold, and I'm not allowed to take certain actions within my account. So now, that I know that the client doesn't have a problem and I don't have a problem. I respond to the dispute. I say the client says he doesn't have a problem and PayPal is asking me for proof that I've delivered the services if I want to be eligible for seller protection. But I say I don't have that proof because I haven't delivered the services because we're still working together. This is a transaction in progress that you're disrupting. And so I responded that way. All right, so now I come back into my account a little bit later and I find a negative balance. I've got a negative balance for the $150. It said like 144, whatever it was, minus the fee, PayPal fees. So negative balance on my end now. And I click the little arrow highlight thingy and it says if I don't pay PayPal back this money, then they will send me to collections. That's what they said. So they go straight to collections. They're threatening collections whenever it's not even been a day it's the same day they're threatening me with collections if i don't pay them back a customer of 20 fucking years they're threatening me with collections and then uh because i didn't submit proof that i had delivered these services because we're in progress we're still working together paypal adds a 15 dollars charge so they charge me for the dispute that they opened for something that is undisputed, the client's not disputing anything. I'm not disputing anything. Only PayPal is disputing something. Now they charge me $15 for this dispute. Presumably they charge the client $15 too. I'm not sure if they did that or not, but I got billed $15. So now I'm paying PayPal for something that was never a problem on my end and that I've done nothing wrong. They're demanding payment from me and threatening me with collections. So now I go in and I try to 
like I moved money into PayPal. I said, fuck you, PayPal. I'm done with this shit. I moved money from my bank account into PayPal, paid the $15 fee, whatever. And then I went to close my PayPal account, which you can see here on the screen, try to close it. There's an error and there's an error because now PayPal says, you know what, before you close your account, you need to be able, you need to go in and cancel all of your recurring subscriptions. You need to cancel all of your uh, billings, your recurring billings, all of those things. You need to go do that. Now, here's what I know. PayPal has banned other people who 100% for sure had recurring billings and recurring subscriptions and they banned them. They did not make those people, they didn't say, hey, you need to go cancel these things one at a time, one by one before we can ban you. They didn't do that. So we know for a fact that they have the fucking power to to end these subscriptions from their end. They can do it just fine. It's no problem. They can do it. But when you try to close your account, they make you jump through extra hoops. And this just was like icing on the cake for me. Um, I was already done with them at this point. So I said, okay, fine, I'll go do this. And I went over to find that play, that part of PayPal and I start going through these things. And there's no option to cancel everything. You can't just cancel everything. You have to go in one at a time, one by one, cancel each of these subscriptions. And I had a bunch. And then once you get those done, then you can close your account finally. So I did that, closed my account, sent some final messages to PayPal, some final fuck yous and said, I'm out and I'm going to tell everybody I can to don't do not use PayPal because they do this shit and they're doing it all the time. Now they're finding reasons to stop payments. They're finding reasons to freeze accounts, put holds on your accounts. If they put a hold or a freeze on your account, then they will not let you send money to yourself. You cannot withdraw your own money. Uh, you can still receive money, which they will continue to hold. They're not going to let you have any money that you receive. So if you have your Upwork connected to your PayPal account, get rid of that. You need to send your Upwork payments directly to your bank account. And if you have anything else that's going through PayPal, stop doing it. If you're invoicing clients through PayPal, stop doing that. Use something like Hello Bonsai. Uh, use something like Stripe. Use some other service to invoice these clients do not use PayPal because they are they have a history of very negative experiences of taking people's money and not giving it back it is straight up fraud it is a scam and it is theft at this point and that is my opinion of PayPal I see PayPal as thieves fraudsters and I believe that every freelancer who is using PayPal should just stop using them immediately because you're putting your money at risk at this point. And even though I've only lost $15 from this, it's still a scam. That was a scam. PayPal scammed me out of money by opening a dispute between a client and a freelancer where there was no dispute and where the only reason this dispute existed was because of a fuck up on PayPal's part. That is the only reason, because they allowed me to withdraw money that they did not have. That money should not have been able to be withdrawn by me. And then they opened a dispute, and then they charged me $15 for the dispute and presumably charged the client as well. So maybe they made $30 off of it. I hope, PayPal, that that was worth it for you to lose a customer of 20 years, uh, 20 years worth of fees that I've been paying through PayPal and you won't receive another fucking dime from me. And I hope that I reach all 11,000 plus subscribers on this channel. And I hope that I get some of them, even if I just get one other person to ditch PayPal because of their high risk bullshit ass policies and services and approaches, then I will call that a win. That's what I wanted to come on and rant about today. So I really think that if you are putting your money in PayPal's hands, you're putting your money at risk. You might as well just take it outside and throw it on the ground, throw cash in the streets and, and see how long it lasts there because it'll probably last longer than in PayPal. I'm very disappointed. I'm going to have to find other ways. I mean, I have a lot of stuff that goes through PayPal. It's not just my freelancing stuff. It was also businesses that I run, my e-commerce business and other businesses that I have. Udemy sometimes was going through PayPal. I think I've switched that one now. Most of my stuff I've gotten switched over to where it goes straight to a bank account. I do not use PayPal as a middleman or 
for sending or receiving anything. I used Stripe for most of it. And now I've heard that Wise might be a good option. We'll probably come back and review different payment options uh, that you can potentially use in place of PayPal. But ditch PayPal. It's They've got to go. They have to learn that you can't just treat customers like this and businesses like this and expect to continue to stay in business yourself. That cannot be the norm. So I'm out. I won't ever use PayPal ever again. Not for sending, not for receiving. They will not get a dime from me. I hope that this message will get through to some of you and that if you have a PayPal account, you will also close that account and move your money elsewhere. Uh, take your money elsewhere, somewhere safe, or even just straight to your bank account and avoid these problems. That's all I've got for this episode. Let me know in a comment down below. Have you had a really negative PayPal experience? Uh, I've had a couple of them now and I'm done with it. I know a lot of people who have had really bad experiences with PayPal. Uh, let me know in a comment down below what bad experiences you've had with PayPal. And keep in mind, just because you haven't had a negative experience with PayPal yet, that doesn't mean it's not coming. I know there's people out there who are like, ah, I, I love PayPal. I've used them for all these years and I've never had problems. Well, I never had a problem across the last uh, 18 years or so until the last six months. And then they turned to shit and they started changing their policies and they started doing things that were, as far as I'm concerned, bullshit. And I don't think that freelancers should put up with it anymore. That's my opinion, so take it with a grain of salt. But just because you haven't had problems with PayPal doesn't mean they aren't coming. A lot of people have, and it's happening more and more. And eventually, if you keep putting your money in PayPal's hands, they're going to take it, and they're going to screw you over. Join us in Discord if you want. The link for that will be in the description below. That's all I've got for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.